Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment on today's content. What we have here today is the Tandem Cross Manacore X. It is a receiver that eliminates the need of a chassis. And uh, we got this as the Pro Package, which includes the grip, the stock, and also the uh, uh, forend, okay? I'm gonna add a Taxol comp to the barrel but the receiver that we are uh, going to use is the Magnum Research switch bolt and then also the Magnum Research uh, carbon fiber barrel. We will uh, get this uh, assembled off camera and then uh, uh, head to the range and uh, see what the, uh, how the uh, rifle perform. This rifle will be used in uh, Steel Challenge so hopefully it will uh, be reliable and we'll report back on any, on any kind of uh, um, malfunction or anything that could create a problem. But hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to have this uh, up and running for the next match. Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment on today's content. Thank you for watching. Okay, we're back, and the uh, rifle is assembled. This will be my uh, uh, rifle going forward for steel challenge. So I uh, put the angle foregrip from uh, Magpul and then the uh, Gideon uh, Omega um, red dot. The installation was rather uh, straightforward. A couple of things that it was uh, uh, might be an issue is um, the set the uh, set screw down here. It uh, you have to align that, and also the uh, stock the. Um, foldable stock which is a little bit of a getting used to but uh, I'm folding it uh, right side uh, because I'm going to keep the charging handle on the left but the uh, the um, mount here uh, does allow you to rotate either straight back or at a uh, angle but the um, folding part of it there's just a lot of sharp edges around there, so I kept it um, flush around the bottom. I just didn't want my hand to get in there and catch any of that, but um, the mount here, I think that it would be, in my opinion, that it would be better served if we had uh, three slot instead of two, um, so that this will sit somewhat uh, flush with it, and that allows you to have at least an opportunity to keep it in the middle and everything to uh, line up, but uh, um, that was rather simple to, to put in. Uh, the Mana Core has a couple of uh, um, basically um, gasket on the side of the receiver. Um, I chose to use uh, both, it gives it a snug fit. I did put a little bit of a um, you know slight film there so that when I push in on the receiver, that it doesn't catch it. So that makes it a lot easier to. To install. Um, as far as the buffer back here, I went with the uh, not with the one that came with it, but uh, it's a rubber sleeve with the pin. So uh, I went with that. Uh, we'll see how it holds up, but uh, uh, everything seems to be uh, fit and finish wise as far as both the Magnum Research receiver and the uh, Tandem Cross uh, Manacore X. Everything fits uh, perfectly, no issue, no struggle. The uh, bolt itself, re removing the bolt and uh, the, the uh, charging handle, um, the spring in there is not captured, so it took a little bit of a, uh, manipulating to make sure that it po pop in where it's supposed to. But other than that, uh, the mag itself is rather flush and uh, looks pretty good. Um, we'll see how it runs. And uh, we'll uh, come back again with a video from the range. Uh, hopefully that uh, I'll have a chance to uh, sight it in and uh, run this uh, rifle before the next match. Otherwise, here's a complete look. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment. Okay, so we're out here testing the Manacore X with the... Uh, uh, Magnum Research receiver 
and barrel. I'm using the uh, Gideon Omega and uh, we're going to run through and make sure that the mags uh, work. So let's go. So, ran six mags uh, with CCC, uh, CCI mini mag, 40 grain, all six mag ran, uh, no issue, no malfunction. So I think it's uh, I think it's good to go. All right, we just got back from the range. I want to do a, a recap of what uh, what happened. The rifle ran great. Uh, this is the Manicore X using the Magnum Research uh, receiver and barrel. And uh, I wanted to test six mags uh, that I'm going to use in Steel Challenge. Uh, the six mag ran great, no problem. The rifle ran great, no problem. The only issue that I would uh, have uh, with this rifle is because there's no chassis, the buffer uh, pin back here or the bushing uh, tend to work itself out. So if somebody would come up with a captured pin or some way to retain it from, from walking out, uh, I think this would be a perfect uh, rifle for still challenge. Um, other than that, uh, great, great rifle uh, so far. Uh, we'll help with to use it the next still challenge, and I'll do a follow-up video there. Um, the ammo that I was using was CCI mini mags, 40 grain. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.